I'm so excited. I'm so excited about our next guest, an internationally acclaimed writer. She's Jamaican. She's a poet. Her works have earned numerous prestigious awards, including the A to Z of Jamaican heritage. And when this is done, I'm going to tell you how many times someone has stolen a, a copy of that from <laughs> me because it's so, it's so important. Summer Lightning, Working Miracles, Women's Lives in the English-speaking Caribbean, and so much more. Joining us is Poet Laureate Olive Cena. Good morning. Good morning, David. So great to have you. So great to have you. Uh, I'm going to get right to it. Mm -hmm. Because we are launching the Poetry Archives mm -hmm. here in Jamaica. Tell me a little bit about, about what that's about. Okay, it's the Poetry Archive, the Jamaica Poetry Archive is an initiative of the Poet Laureate program mm -hmm. and it's housed at the National Library of Jamaica. And what it is, is an electronic um, library of Jamaican poets reading their work and you can, it's open. It's accessible to the public. In fact, you just have to either Google um, Poetry Archive, Jamaica Poetry Archive, or um, I think there's a way you can actually show people mm -hmm. what to do. Mm -hmm. What to do, and you'll get all the information there. But basically, what we're doing is celebrating the best of Jamaican poets, mm -hmm. and so you're invited to be a part of the archive. Um, you know, it's for poets who have accomplished. Uh, reach a certain level of accomplishment. Correct. So, so far we have 20 poets in, in the archive. It's, it's an ongoing process. So every year new people will be added. Mm -hmm. And let me just say that I hope people will Google the archive or go on, check it out. And I'm going to hear that a lot of people's favorite poets are not there or some of our famous living poets are not there. But I should point out that not everyone who has been nominated is yet on the archive because they have to submit. Mm -hmm. We ask them to submit material and we put that up. So please don't come cussing me because so and so it's is. It's a there. work in progress. Me just telling you. It's that. a work in progress, but yes. it's an important work yeah. um, because, and I like what you said, sometimes I wonder if Jamaicans understand how accomplished our poets are. Exactly. And internationally recognized yes. as well. We're, yes. You know, and, and this is one of the reasons why we need an, an initiative like this, because I think the literary arts are very much neglected by us. Absolutely. We celebrate our sports people, which we should. We celebrate our musicians, our entertainers, and I think we should also be celebrating people involved in the literary arts. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're part of that. Mm -hmm. Because um, people involved in Jamaican literature or Jamaican writers are as celebrated abroad as some of our other, you yes. know, um, yes. well-known people. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I tell someone that every, if, if, you, if you Google Claude McKay, yeah. if, if you didn't know McKay was Jamaican, you wouldn't know, you, yeah. a lot of times you would think he was an American poet, right, because yes. they claim him often. Right, yeah. and we, right now the archive is of living poets, mm -hmm. but it's, we hope to, to acquire enough resources mm -hmm. to keep on expanding it. And one of the things we want to do is bring in a dead poet society. So we would be celebrating those people going as far back as we can. Mm -hmm. And we also want to, to have a special section for a young, brilliant, up and coming poets. Wonderful. But right now it's celebrating those poets of considerable achievement. Mm -hmm. You have to have had a number of books, maybe prizes and international reputation and so on. So it is, it is celebrating the best of Jamaican Very poetry. I, I, I'm, I'm glad because a, as I said, it will underscore just how accomplished our poets are. Yeah. But um, just the other day, I, I was trying to find um, a poem and I was Googling because I needed it. Yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wish there was a place that I yes. could find it. And, and the archive is where it is. Well, it, it is if it's one of the, the, the poems yes. that's there. But also the National Library of Jamaica yes. is the place to go if you, know, if you needed that kind of information because mm -hmm. they have the resources there are much vaster mm -hmm. than, than the archive itself. Yeah. But this is great because you, you can actually hear, you could be in your car driving to work and instead of cussing other drivers, <laughs> you could be listening to poets yes. and to poetry. Yes. And it's oral and, and we think it's significant too that um, 
people get a chance to hear poetry. Mm -hmm. It makes a big difference. Read by the poets. Absolutely. You know, so that's part of the attraction yeah. of it. Poets, I feel, capture, capture so much of a nation's character yeah. and, and personality and history. Exactly. Um, they are very integral yes. to, to who we are as a people. And so I, yeah. it's important, I think, for us to be exposed to more writers. Yes, and, writers. and this is it. it is, yeah. You will get to know the writers because there are photographs, there's biographical information and so on. But you know, I also want to say that all of us begin with word. Mm -hmm. As children, you know, literature, the written word is, so, is, is fundamental to our lives. Mm -hmm. And that I think getting to know the creators especially uh, on the part of young people, Correct. is a good way of maybe getting people more interested in reading, mm -hmm. in writing, mm -hmm. in, you know, in just getting involved in the whole notion of literature. Oh, man, we have been so blessed with poets here in Jamaica. Yeah. I, I, every day, I mean, I've said it before mm -hmm. at the start and I continue to say, I don't know if Jamaicans understand how great our poets are yeah you know so yeah. this is this is great so it's at the national library yes website if they go on yes or they can simply google um jamaica poetry archive jamaica poetry archives and it will be there and, and it that's being be launched there. today it's being launched today mm -hmm. um with as i say there are 20 poets in the in the um, archive, in the archive. Yes. and we We'll continue to add to it. Um, there's a whole process on the website which tells you how the poets are selected. Mm -hmm. um, people can suggest poets who would go on to the long list for consideration. But as I say, it's really to celebrate poets of outstanding achievement. Mm -hmm. We want, it's something that we want our young poets to aspire to. Yes. You know? Yes. I like it. And it's a, it's a, it's a Poet Laureate initiative. And I know when the Poet Laureate program was just launched, a lot of people were like, what's the Poet Laureate going to do? But the Poet Laureate has done so much. Yes. How has it been for you in terms of, of I mean, you do a lot. You know, yeah, lot. it's, yes. I'm the third one, I should mention. The yeah. first was Mervyn, Mervyn Morris, Morris, that everybody knows, Lorna Goodison. Yes. So I'm quite honored to be part of that process. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's, you know, I, I came on board in the middle of COVID. Yes. So a lot of what I did was not um, virtual. Mm -hmm. um, so we're still going. It's, you know, it's been challenging in, in some ways, but I have one, um, this is my last year. Mm -hmm. And we have some events for the rest of this year. We're going to do a teacher's workshop to teach teachers how to teach poetry, poetry. to children. Yes. We're going to have a workshop for young people young poets yeah. coming up yeah. and of course there is a poetry competition that that has been ongoing mm -hmm. so um we're, we're still at it and there'll be other things next year as well yes guys let me tell you the poet laureate program is is one of the successes that we have in our country the, the ability to access our nation's great poets to learn from them is something that is life-changing so i mean go to the national library website and find out more. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adelia. And I know you've been a big promoter of poetry. Yes. So we appreciate that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Poet Laureate, Olive mm -hmm. Senior. More on okay. Smile after the break. <laughs>